in this brief lecture we will talk about soil ameliorant and soil conditioner so ameliorant is chemical that is applied to improve the quality of the soil whatever the soil if the soil is problematic if the soil is not optimum for plant growth then we must apply some ameliorant some chemical that is act as ameliorant or that is act to solve that uh, problematic soil to have a optimum condition to have an optimum condition for plant growth and development so it may be any uh, it may be increasing the chemical property of the soil it may increase the physical property of the soil physical condition of the soil like texture structure uh, then bulk density porosity etc it may have some impact on chemical uh, properties as well as ph ec uh, organic carbon etc so ameliorant is broad group of chemicals which uh, increases the quality of the soil but soil conditioner on the other hand it is mostly applied to increase the physical property of the soil okay physical quality of the soil right so ameliorant can be anything ameliorant can be uh, one lime can be ameliorant lime is mostly used for uh, reclamation of acid soil okay then uh, Le uh, leaching can be act as ameliorant uh, in case of uh, our saline soil then for sodic soil gypsum iron pyrite uh, then uh, sulfur elemental sulfur these are this can be act as ameliorant uh, in case of alkali soil that is amendment okay soil amendment amendment means to rectify the soil condition right so ameliorant means there is a certain property which we are addressing by applying any chemical that is called amendment okay and uh, that conditioner is a subgroup of amendment that is basically used for increasing the soil physical property so let's see the definition ameliorant is a chemical that is applied to improve the quality of the soil thereby improve plant growth substance that aids plant growth primarily by improving physical condition of the soil primarily by physical condition of the soil but it it is enhancing all other properties because if the soil condition if the soil health is increasing if the soil qualities are increasing then it will ultimately affect other soil condition that will be optimum for plant growth whereas soil conditioners are the subset of ameliorant that added to soil to improve its soil physical quality soil conditioner means where where we talk about soil conditioner that means it is mostly emphasizing on physical quality of the soil usually uh, the fertility and sometimes mechanics mostly mechanics and sometimes fertility as well like bio biochar bone meal coffee ground compost coir straw peat manure sphagnum moss vermiculite sulfur lime biocide these are example of soil conditioner soil conditioner uh, broadly can be organic it can be organic it can be inorganic organic means that is from plant and animal origin that means green manure that can be a soil conditioner compost can be a soil conditioner then crop residue coconut soil cell etc these are organic soil conditioner then inorganic soil conditioner means synthetic binding agents mineral conditioner lime gypsum etc these are inorganic soil conditioner that means they are not derived from plant and animal origin so this soil conditioner act as uh, act to improve the soil physical property side by side it may increase the soil health as well or soil different qualities of the soil as well so this is basically uh, we are applying to improve the soil physical structure thereby it will improve improve the overall health of the soil right so what are the benefits of applying this uh, conditioner or uh, amendments it improves the soil structure if the soil structure is improved then the porosity will be improved then the infiltration the water uh, holding capacity nutrient holding capacity then water movement that means conductivity of the water in the soil then all this aeration all these things will improve then increase water holding capacity thereby increasing the available water to the plant reduce compaction if the soil structure is good then compaction will be less Uh, then uh, destruction of hard pan or 
it prevents the formation of hard pan then alkali soil reclamation for alkali soil reclamation what we use we use gypsum then release fixed nutrient better root development if there is uh, no compaction then root development will be better and ultimately yield will be higher so there are different uh, uh, you know different amendments used for different type of problem soil like if the uh, if the soil is acidic in nature then what amendment we, we we will use if acidic in nature that means acidic soil we use uh, like uh, lime okay lime is a broad term and that consists of like calcium oxide calcium uh, carbonate then uh, calcium hydroxide then basic slag then dolomite these are example of lime okay so we'll talk later on the what is the calcium carbonate equivalent how lime lime is how we can calculate liming if, uh, efficiency how we can calculate uh, you know neutralizing index and neutralizing value all the things will cover then if the soil is saline in nature saline nature what amendment we use we generally use water to leach out the excess salt from the because saline what saline soil it consists of different soluble salts so we can leach out easily those soluble salts from the crop root zone so that it will not hamper the root uh, uh, root zone or the uh, or the crop so basically we need to leach down all the soluble salts in the root from the root zone by applying excess water okay then in alkali soil if if it is having highly alkaline earth or carbonate and high ph then acid or acid form of pyrite sulfuric acid iron sulfate aluminum sulfate lime sulfur sulfur etc are used if the alkali soil do not have alkaline earth carbonate and do not have high ph then limestone uh, can be used then low alkali uh, alkaline earth metal and high ph then calcium chloride gypsum this can be used so these are basically some of the amendment we use in the soil to improve physical property as well as overall soil health and quality